ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರೇವ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ವಸುದೇವಸುತ ಕಂಸಚಾಣೋರಮರ್ದನ ದೇವಕಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಂದೇ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಸಮಸ್ತ ಜನ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣೆ ನಿರತ ಕರುಣಾಮಯ ನಮಿ ಚಿನ್ಮಯ ದೇವ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮವಿದ್ವರ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುದೇವ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಸಿಗ್ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ವೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಲೈಫ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಈವನ್ ಎನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ there are a lot of functions going on in you therefore the quality of actions will make the quality of our life hence we need to understand fundamentally the whole science of action to get the best results so now let us take uh, why do we act at all we act to gain certain things through which we can enrich our life certain experiences certain objects this is why we act but in this process we always feel what we have done is not enough we should do more we should do more what we got is not enough we should get more one side you feel what you did, did is not enough you should do more you should get more on the other side i shouldn't have done this i shouldn't have got that too again if i get that if i do that i will find fulfillment i will be happy i am not going into the question now whether action and results can give you what you want that's an another question i am not going into that even granting it gives you what you want when you find that always you want to improve on things and regret what went wrong and expect something to happen in this whole process where is peace i am not going into the fact that actions are finite results are finite no i am not going even granting that actions give you something there is anxiety of of the future regrets of the past and in this process while you are acting in the present the mind is split it's agitated how does an agitated mind bring a harmonious activity again every one of us 
want nothing short of the best and the perfect. The finite world of objects, emotions, and thoughts cannot give completeness. And you are not going to be happy without the completeness. They cannot give you completeness and you are not going to be happy without that completeness. You do not know any other thing. You, all that you know is this. What is the solution? Should we live to the best of our capacity and die? Nothing wrong. But did you inquire whether there is no other alternative? When you inquire, the masters will guide you. Actions are a means for carrying on the life so that you, you find fulfillment, perfection, immortality. And that you find is in you. And that you find it is you. First you search outside because you don't have any data. Then with the data you see inside. Then you know it's neither uh, outside nor inside, it is me, the essential me. Then this search, this seeking, this anxiety, this worry, this regrets, this feverishness vanishes. You are full, you are complete. This happens out of knowledge right guidance and systematically follow the instructions. Yet, <laughs> one more very interesting thing, kindly ponder over this. Kindly ponder over this. It's very interesting. What you want is fullness, completeness, immortality. It's not a, there in the finite world. You know it. Guru has taught it. You have a vague idea also. Unless you shift yourself from this finite world, you cannot get that infinite because it is beyond this, above this. Unless you wake up from dream, you cannot find rest. The state of waking is beyond the dream. Both cannot be simultaneous. So what you want is beyond this world of experiences. You know that, you are dissatisfied with this, but you do not want to leave this. You want to continue in dreaming and wants to enjoy the status of the waker. Asking for the impossible. Asking for the impossible. Therefore, we have to know why action, how action, how to use the action to gain that fulfillment, how does it become a means, what type of actions can, give, can lead you, cannot give you, but can lead you to the infinite. This whole topic is called Karma Yoga, which has several aspects in that. The first is, you have to work for a cause other than the ego, because it is the ego that makes you 
depend on the results. You have to work not for the ego, but for a cause. The results are not important. What you become out of work is more important than what you gain out of work. What you become out of work is more important than what you gain out of work. Results are not important. When you are preoccupied with the results, you don't enjoy the actions because you are always worried whether you will get it or not. You will always remember the several failures that you had before. You can't enjoy the action. So you have to detach from the results. That's one. Two. The sense of doership, I am the doer, I, I, I have done this and all that, that will again take away your peace. Actions will give me happiness. I, I, I want to enjoy, I'm enjoying the enjoyership. Sense of agency, sense of enjoyership, depending on the results. <clears throat> this sense of I plus I want, I and mine, these are the various hindrances in enjoying action, making a means to achieve perfection. To prune all these and make action a beautiful instrument for you to evolve is Karma Yoga. In that, the first important thing is you have to be dynamically active because when it is said results are not important, you should not be demotivated. Results for your fulfillment are not important because you are already full. You are already complete. But action is important to produce, to share for the benefit of others, <clears throat> for the benefit of others, also for you to continue the journey of life. <clears throat> also, a means to serve the Lord. A means to serve the Lord. It's a worship, it's a puja. Thus, the very action, which was a drudgery, which was sapping all our energies, can become a medium of inspiration, evolution. So the first thing is dynamic action, third chapter, fourth chapter, dedicated activity, fifth chapter, renouncing the sense of agency and enjoyership. So the third chapter, Bhagavan has given us a hint how action is a must because nobody can live without action. And not acting physically, brooding over what you are missing is hypocrisy. On the contrary, act, but control your impulses, your dependence through the mind. That's a beautiful way of acting. And then he says, it's not all actions that bind you. Actions done in a spirit of dedication, which is called yajna, yajna bhava, they do not bind you. These actions reduce your vasanas, do not bring new vasanas, make the mind clean and pure to reflect the self. So that he is taking up now. Verse 9. Yajnartha karma non yatra 
लोको कर्म बंधन तदर्थम कर्म कौंतेय मुक्त संग सचर actions done other than in the spirit of ignorance they become a cause for bondage what is bondage dependence how dependence materially also imaginations i should get this with this i'll be complete i shouldn't have done that when are you free from these do's and don'ts when are you free from these don'ts and don'ts is that not a bondage does it ever give you freedom it doesn't all the time you have a goal you got it by the time you got it the goal shifted because that's the nature of the finite you can never be satisfied with the finite so when you get something what you wanted the goal goal goes on shifting where will you find peace that's called bondage that is without it i i cannot live i can i cannot be happy that's called bondage that is you are enslaved by the action the results etc you become dependent on that that's called bondage so actions done other than the yagna spirit causes bondage what is bondage what is yagna spirit mukta sanga samachara doing actions perfectly fully completely without attachment what is attachment gurudev's famous famous uh, formula i plus i want i the doer i this entity in the body want a particular results the sense of ego plus ego centric desires is called attachment without them you must work that can be done when you are working for a cause not for the gratification of the senses that working is called yagna bhava in every yagna there is a kund the fireplace the fuel is put samadhis there are pandit ch- chanting and some of them pouring ghee pouring the fuel one gives approval so this whole thing is a process of offering something into the fire to a deity for results so when your actions are offered to a deity for results that becomes an yagna but normally yagna is for all selfless causes it is yaga for personal causes like putra kamesti yaga yagnas are all called for the welfare of the world also in a yagna even done, done, done lavishly luxuriously showing off you may spend a few i'm i'm going to the extreme purposefully if you are a king you may spend 2 crores 3 crores do you spend 2 3 crores for getting 2 3 crores you are doing it for getting 20000 crores or even more small things are offered to gain big results and in fact 
Sri Veda Vyasa said, now we are going to see in detail in the fourth chapter. There is no offering, offering at all as in, uh, from the outside world. It's only offering all your negative things. And it's an attitude. We'll see in the fourth chapter when we come to that. So that's Ajna. So he said that actions done for the sake of Ajna do not bind. Because earlier we were told karma binds. He says, no, not all karmas. Poison kills. But the same poison in diluted dose becomes a medicine. Hitched, hitched drugs are all poison, but that's a medicine. So karma itself, diluted from the ego, becomes a medicine. It purifies. It inspires because you are doing for a greater cause. When you do for the ego, it saps your energy. When you do it for a noble cause, it inspires. So now he is giving in the next few slokas in two, three different angles, this glory of the Karma Yoga and the way Yajna, Yajna Bhava, and how to do it. Devan Bhavayata Nena. I think I missed something. Yeah. Sahayajna Prajasrushtva Urovacha Prajapatihi Anena Prasavishyadvam Yeshavo Svista Kamadukha Prajapati, he, the creator, the Brahman. Prajaha Sahayagna Shrushtva. He created beings with the spirit of sacrifice. And having created them, he told them, go. I have created you. Now the whole world is for you. Go and enjoy. Go and multiply. How will you enjoy? How will you multiply? He says, Anena. Anena. By what? Yajna. Prasavishyadvam. You shall multiply. Yeshavaha tu ista kamadukka. This yajna will give you all your desires like a kamadhenu. So the spirit of sacrifice is the very basis of creation. Please, 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 these are all very, very, very important points. If you do not try to internalize them, you are not getting the best for ever spending the time. Because I am not repeating what the text says. I'm trying to connect it to our life. And therefore, you have to contemplate even while listening and after listening. So how does the world become a creation without the spirit of Ajna? The world needs life, energy, nourishment, rain, food, heat, etc., etc., etc. Yeah. Now, each star is many, many times more than the earth. You must have the capacity to imagine. Do not just listen. There are millions of stars and each star is much bigger than the earth. Then what is the dimension of the universe? 
expand mentally. Through that, your ego drops. That becomes meditation. Mentally expand to appreciate the dimension of the universe where each star is many times bigger than the earth. They're all hanging. They don't collide with each other. They don't drop on you. Who put these principle of harmonious existence there? Is it an accident? Several millions of stars kept in suspension, not colliding and not falling. How can it be an accident? It's an intelligent creation. Wherever there is an intelligent creation, there has to be an intelligent factor. Can a mud pot come from mud without the potter? If a mud pot cannot come from mud without a potter, how did this entire universe come with so many laws into functioning without a creator? And what was the spirit? Each one giving their best to you, the stars, the sun, the moon, the rain, the earth, the fire, without expecting any reward from you, non-stop. They bless you. They do not expect anything from you. They do not take rest. That's called Egna Bhava. What happens if Sun God says, I'm tired, I need half an hour rest? We're out. What, what happens if your uh, temperature either goes up or goes down, then 98.4 degrees? Who is maintaining that? Our in laws. Who is maintaining your 98.4 degrees? Who is maintaining your rate of heartbeat? Your pulse rate, your number of pancreas. Who is maintaining all these? When there are so many systems coordinating together, different systems coordinating together for you to live, it's an int insult to human intelligence to say they're all accidents. I told this to an atheist friend of mine. You people call yourself rationalists. In fact, you are the most irrational to expect such a harmonious creation of coordination to be an accident. Sun never takes rest. Wind never takes rest. Rain comes at the right time. Earth allows you to stand and stamp on that mother. Moon gives the fertility and nourishment. None of them expect anything from you. That's called Ekna spirit. And with that, whole system Bhagavan created the world, otherwise there is no creation possible. Therefore, he said, Sahayagnaha Prajasrushtva. When he created the world, he created it with the spirit of Egna and said, Now I created you. I have given you the various forces and I have given you the uh, uh, formula, uh, tool to get the best. Now, Anena, through this spirit of Egna, Prasavishyadham, you multiply your things and happiness. This spirit of Agna shall give you whatever you want. When each lives for the other, the whole world lives for you. 
when you demand your pound of flesh, everybody wants your pound of flesh. Even in a queue, you see, just say for the next person coming up uh, after you, everybody will say after you, and you will go first. You fight for your right. Ugly, tension, cheap, and probably you will never get the right place. That's how. Whatever you want, if you want to get, this is the clue. Through the spirit of Igna, you shall multiply. And that he says, Devan bhavayata nena te deva bhavayantuvaha parasparam bhavayantaha sreya parama vapsata Shreyaha, ultimate good. What is the ultimate good? You are discovering the God that you are. That you shall gain when you follow the spirit of Ignya. How? These devas, these various forces in nature and inside you, bless you. You, in turn, contribute to the welfare of the world, to the harmony of the world, not disturbing it. Do not harming the nature that is helping you. Do not pollute waters, do not pollute air. When you try to catch up to them, who bless you, and inside you, a dead body cannot see. Though the eyes are open, there is a power in it, behind the eyes that makes the eyes see. That is the devata behind the eye. There is a power behind the ear to hear. That is the devata behind the ear. Each of our functions are presided by a particular devata. They are blessing you. You should take care of them. And the devata is blessing you to see. Do not offer dirty junk food for that. See good things. Badram karne vichunyama devaha. Bhadram Pashyema Achavihi Yajatraha. Do not give junk, ugly, dirty garbage to these devatas. Feed them well, they will take care of you. Devan Bhavayatane, Te Deva Bhavayanta, Parasparam Bhavayanta, mutually courting each other, mutually contributing to each other. You shall reach your goal of perfection. You shall reach your goal of perfection. And if you do not do that, what happens? Istan bhogan hivo deva dasyante yagna bhavita tai dattan apradaye bhyaha yoghunte stena yevasa Vedavyasa is very strong in using his terms. He says, Istan bhogan ki deva dasyante yigna bhavit. These natural forces, gods, give you whatever you want. What is given by them, you do not give it back in some form as gratitude to the welfare of the world to the maintenance of the nature and the phenomena, you receive something from somebody, do not return. He says, Tena Yevasa, he's a thief, he says. Veda Vyasa uses a very strong word. So many of us say, I'm a self-made man. Hey, what do you mean self-made man? Were you picked up from the self? Self-made man, earth allowed you to stay, wind allowed you to live, sun gave you the energy, the food is grown. How? You didn't make the earth, you didn't make the fertility in the earth, you didn't make the rain, 
You are living because of the food which is given in the spirit of Ignya. Okay, that's all granted. But even then, I am a self-made man. I made everything. What? You made things which the society wanted. Who created that need? Who put that potentiality in that to become a useful enterprise? Somebody went and told God, now we don't need you. We can make test you babies. God said, yes, beautiful. But create something without using anything that I gave you. All things, all potentialities he has put. You only have to tap. For that also he has given you the intelligence. And what are, what are you self-made man? The need for your ob objects were there in the society. You have not created that. So when God made all that for you, gave you everything, and to aggrandize, I say, why should I share? Veda Vyasa rightly calls, probably there is no stronger word, you are a thief. On the contrary, you see, always knowledge is gained through understanding the contrast. First he said, you should do the Ajna Bhava. Then he said, if you don't do, who are you? Now he says, what happens when you do with the Ajna Bhava? Ajna Shishta Shana Sante Santo Muchyante Sarva Kilvishai Bhunjate Etvakam Papa one who lives in the spirit of Ajna, produces in the spirit of Ajna, shares in the spirit of Ajna. Through this process, his egoistic vasanas are reduced. They are called kilbishas, sins, because they give you sorrow. They make you dependent. They make you go in circles. Janma, Mrutu, etc. These are reduced and you become a lighter person, experiencing the self in you, enjoying a greater state of happiness. When you eat the remnants of the Igna, that is, you produce, share it with others, whatever is rightfully due to you, you enjoy. Then you are freed from sins. What happens to those people who do not share with others? Bunjate etvakam papa e pachantyatma karana. Those who only cook for themselves, not to share with others. They don't eat food, he says. See the very strong words, he says. When somebody cooks food for his own self, not share it with others, he doesn't eat food. What he eats? Sin. He eats only sin. They only eat sins. And now he is giving the whole system of sustenance through food, etc. How? This food is connected to that ultimate reality. How it is connected? How that is present in all that are needed for your sustenance, the Anna. He, 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 he gives a few verses. Anna bhavanti bhutani pajanyad anna sambhavaha yajna bhavati pajanyaha yajna karma samudhavaha bhutani beings anna bhavanti come from food the food that is taken by the father becomes the seed, nurtured by the food the mother takes. And after coming out, it starts misappropriating everybody's food. Ultimately, when it dies, it becomes food for all the wolves. 
That's why there is never shortage of food. Brihadar and Kopanishad says because it's recycling. Everything is recycled in nature. You come from food, you become the food. You drink water, the water is thrown out. Everything is recycling in nature. So there is never a shortage. Brudar and Kopnishad says this principle of matter neither created nor destroyed. And this whole chapter in the Brudar and Kopnishad beautifully points this out. It's called Madhu Vidya. Annad Bhavanti Bhutani. Beings come out of food. Tarjanya Dhanna Sambhavaha. <coughs> food comes out of rain. I told you earlier that food does not mean only the food that you take through the mouth. Food you take through the eyes, ears, nose, everything. So all the food that you need, you get through a conducive atmosphere, which is called rain. Food comes from rain. And how does rain come? Conducive atmosphere. Through cooperative living of the community. Everybody following certain rules, trying to keep the harmony. That's called yajna. That creates the conducive atmosphere, the rain. Yajna bhavati parjanyaha. From Yajna comes Parjanya rain. Par. Yajna karma samudbhavaha. How does this Yajna come? Basis is karma. Without karma, there is no Yajna. And then, and then what happens? Karma brahmodbhavam vidhi. Karma comes from Brahma means mind and intellect at the individual level, total level, total mind and intellect. I am taking a class. How I am taking? There is a need from a few people. A few people together created this need. How the need was created in them because of the ruptures they get from few others that made them seek solace. Like that, when we see no one is an island, no man is an island. There is a beautiful English poem you can't touch a flower without disturbing the her star. Each one of us is connected to the other. So therefore, it's the total mind intellect that makes you do certain things. Karma Brahmod Bhavam Vidhi. And where from this Brahma, the total mind intellect comes? Brahmakshara Samud Bhavam. This Brahma is come from that imperishable Brahman, means he is the manifestation of that imperishable Brahman. And therefore, tasmat sarvagatam Brahma nityam yagne pratishthitam. Now let us reverse. Brahma, Brahman, Brahma, Brahman, Brahma, Brahma, Yajna, Yajna, Karma, sorry, uh, 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 Brahma, Karma, Karma, Yajna, Yajna, Rain, Rain, Food. So it is only a manifestation of Brahman in different forms that becomes your food. That's why we are, we'll get that stanza in when we see in the Fourth chapter, 24th verse, which we are supposed to chant every day before food. Brahma, Panam, Brahma, Havihi, Brahma, Nau, Brahma, Nahutam, 
ब्रह्मवतेन गंतव्यम ब्रह्म कर्म समाधिना फुल थिंग इज नथिंग बट ब्रह्म सो इफ यू नो द सीक्रेट दैट यू आर सस्टेनिंग यू आर लिविंग बाय दैट ब्रह्म सो व्हाट हैपेंस बी कॉन्शियस सो व्हाट हैपेंस you were in tune with him so what happens you were immortal you were blissful recognize brahman in and through all your encounters this is a beautiful way of living to feel the presence of god in every uh, minute aspect of time and uh, the created world feel his presence and if you follow that evam pravartitam chakram if you don't follow evam pravartitam chakram nanu vartayati hayha aghayu indriya ramaha mogham parta sadhivati one who doesn't follow this we of harmony yagna karma brahma brahma brahman etc who puts spokes into that we through his ego and egocentric desires he doesn't contribute to the welfare of others he ruins himself because we the ego only can give you death the ego will deprive you of the god that you are becomes a source of sorrow for you all this is called papa so he says agayu sinful indriya ramaha reveling in the senses wise people atma ramaha revel in the self other wise people revel in the senses indriya ram moham parta sadivati is living is a waste vain food if he doesn't follow this we evam pravartitam chakram na anuvartayati iha and when it says this you may be we may be wondering so that means all the time you should remember all this and do it it's a strain and i always should cater to others i won't find rest he says no all that is only to take you to the self that you are inside once you have reached there there is no effort on your part it becomes your nature after that the body's destiny it will find food it will it will get what it needs you don't have to do anything it will get because you have found peace you radiate peace whoever comes across you you bless the world and what you need from the world is only two morsels of food you don't need anything else from the world you you don't need a car you don't need a house you don't need a film you need minimums what you do bless billions you need minimum two morsels bless billions giving them peace and direction of life they in turn give you what you need physically so therefore there all your struggle stops when you reach that self when you know that self there is no more do's and don'ts no more cycles to follow to oh that means that man can do anything how will he do anything wrong gurudev's beautiful example a music master you consciously cannot sing a wrong note he is a master you his shruti doesn't miss and this man who lives in the cell why will he do anything wrong yes swap marathi revasya one who enjoys revels in his own self 
ಆತ್ಮತೃಪ್ತಶ್ಚ ಮಾನವ ದಿ ಕಾಂಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಟಿವ್ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಡಸಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆತ್ಮನೆಯೇ ಅವಚ ಸಂತುಷ್ಟ ಕಂಟೆಂಡೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆಲ್ ತಸ್ಯ ಕಾರ್ಯಂ ನ ವಿದ್ಯತೆ ಹಿ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಸ್ಟಿಪ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಫಾಲೋ therefore what you should do uh, no no sorry uh, why 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 is it that freedom to him naiva tasya krutena arthah na akrutene ha kaschana na chasya sarva bhuteshu kaschidatta vyapasaya na eva tasya krutena he has no value for something that is done or created na akrutene ha kaschana he has nothing to lose by things that are not done i told i explained to you what is bondage in the beginning i must have done this i must have not done that this is all bondage this man has no such bondage he has no meaning for actions done he has no meaning for actions not done na chasya sarva bhuteshu kaschid artha vipasse he has no dependency on any be anybody for anything depending upon anybody or any object and therefore he has the freedom to choose what he wants to do we do actions for our fulfillment he does actions out of fulfillment tasma dasakta satatam karyam karma samachara ಅಸಕ್ತ ಯಾಚರನ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಪರಮಾಪ್ನೋತಿ ಪುರುಷ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸತತ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಕರ್ಮ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಅಟ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಸಮಾಚಾರ ಡೂ ಹೋಲ್ ಹಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ಲಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿಲಿ ಫುಲ್ಲಿ ಬಟ್ ಹೌ ಅಸಕ್ತ ಡಿಟ್ಯಾಚ್ಡ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ not wanting recognition asakta yacharan karma doing actions like this paramaapnoti purushaha you will cleanse your vasanas and discover the supreme in you param supreme in you and now he gives the example of his own clan his own species the kings karmana yuhisam siddhim ಅಸ್ಥಿತ ಜನಕಾದಯ ಲೋಕಸಂಗ್ರಹ ಮೇ ವಾಪಿ ಸಂಪಶ್ಯನ್ ಕರ್ತು ಮರ್ಕಸಿ ಕಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಜನಕ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರ ದೇವರ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಇಸ್ ದೇವರ್ ಫುಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಫುಲ್ಲಿ ಎಂಗೇಜ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ವೆಲ್ಫೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಸರ್ವಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ದೆ ಪ್ಯೂರಿಫೈಡ್ ದಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕವರ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಕರ್ಮಣ ಯು ಹಿ ಸಂಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಆಸ್ತಿಕ ಜನಕಾದ ಥ್ರೂ ಕರ್ಮ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದೇ ರೀಚ್ ದೇರ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಲೋಕ ಸಂಗ್ರಹ ಮೇ ವಾಪಿ ಈವನ್ ಟು ಕೀಪ್ ದಿ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ಟು ಬೆದ ನಾಟ್ ಶಾಟ ಫರ್ ಓನ್ ವೆಲ್ಫೇರ್ ಸಂ ಪಶ್ಯನ್ ಕರ್ತು ಮರ್ಹಸಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಅಫೋರ್ಡ್ ಟು ರಿಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಯದ್ಯದಾಚರತೆ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಕಪ್ತದೇವ ಕರೋ ಜನ ಸಯತ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಕುರುತೆ ಲೋಕಸ್ತದನು ವರ್ತತೆ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಲೀಡರ್ sets an example the followers will follow yadya acharati shreshtah the leader whatever he does itaro janah adars sa yat pramanam kurute whatever standards he keeps lokah people tadanu vartate they follow michael jackson had a year, in one year earring everybody who wanted music started following that <laughs> by wearing a, a earring in one year you don't get music because michael jackson was worried but that is the nature of the world to emulate or imitate the leaders therefore you being a leader arjuna you can't afford to ignore what you must act and then he gives his own example krishna ನಮೇ ಪಾರ್ಥಾಸ್ತಿ ಕರ್ತವ್ಯ ತ್ರಿಶುಲೋಕೇಶು ಕಿಂಚನ ಮಾನವಾಪ್ತಮವಾಪ್ತವ್ಯ ವರ್ತಯೇವ ಕರ್ಮಣಿ 
God, what does he want from you? He has given you the sun, moon, water, rain, five elements, stars, everything. He maintains your systems inside and outside. What does he want from you? What he doesn't have? Yet, does he take rest? When you sleep, he maintains your systems. If he takes rest, you feel you are finished. So, he does work like that. And if you want to be God, live like God. There are some say, old saying, if you want to be a millionaire, live like a millionaire. If you want to be God, live like God. God doesn't expect anything from anybody. Relentlessly, without discrimination, work. Do that way. Live that way. Be God. Yenikyam navarteyam jato karmanya tindritaha mama vartmanu vartamti manushya bharta sarvash. If I do not follow these rules, there will be chaos everywhere. And people also will follow inertia, laziness, irresponsibility, etc. And therefore, uchi de yurime lokaha, all these worlds will collapse. Na kuryam karma chedaham. If I do not maintain these laws, sankarasya chakarta syam upahanyam nima praja. I would have created confusions of beings and castes and types of people and all these people would have found destruction. Therefore, action is a must. Then why teaching? No. Action is a must. What is the difference? Sakta, sakta, karmani avidvansaha yatha kurvanti bharyat bharata kuryad vidvam pata saktaha chikishu loka sangraham Ignorant people continuously run after this, run after that, do not take rest. So also you must work tirelessly, but he does out of attachment, expectations. You do free from attachment and expectations. You enjoy the work. Let it be an inspiration. Both have to work. He is drained of his energy through expectations, attachment. You are inspired through work, through selflessness and detachment. And when you have known this, the very reason, the very reason that you, others should work for the world to go, if there are no greedy people, how this world has developed so much to give you? Because there were greedy people, they produced and you were enjoying. You need all. God knows. He created all. Don't disturb them. A person who has come to postgraduate English should not go and tell the child in the fifth standard, you are rubbish. Your English is rubbish. He forgets he has gone from there. So also, you now have known the secrets of action to work through detachment. Do not disturb the people who are working through attachment because that is the basis. You have to work that way and purify yourself. But stopping the work doesn't help. Therefore, people not grown to that extent do not unsettle their minds. Let them know through your example, not through your words. Nabuddhi Vedam Janayet Ajnanam Karma Sanginam Joshayet Sarva Karmani Vidvam Niptas Samacharan Nabuddhi Vedam Janayet Do not create conflict in their minds or intellect. Ajnanam People who are not informed fully Karma Sanginam People attached to the actions and results. Joshi itself, encourage them whatever they are doing. With one yukta samacharan, the enlightened one, doing the right way. Let him do the right way, but not unsettle the people who are not well informed. You lead them from the front, from your example. Let them see. 
you are also dynamic you are also working but you are all the time enjoying they are not enjoying let them come and ask you the secrets then slowly the way in which they can digest you take gurudev used to give a beautiful example there is a procession going on you want to stop it you go and stand before them they will stampede and you will be dead instead stand before them take the flag and shout whatever they were shouting go a long distance take a big u turn they won't know they are following you they see you are very enthusiastic and you come back where they started that's the right way to do prakrute kriyamanani gunai karmani sarvashah ahankara vimudhatma kappaha miti manyate why you should not disturb them everybody is propelled by impelled by compelled by his own vasanas so you do not interfere with others lives and he thinks he is the doer actions are done by the vasanas and he feels that he is the doer and therefore he suffers so you don't disturb you as an intelligent person tatva vittu mahabaho guna karma vibhagayo guna guneshu vartanta iti matvana sajjate tatva vid the one who knows the truth guna karma vibhagayo of the various factors in world in the guna satvara jo tamo guna and karmas he sees guna guneshu vartan my quality is transact with the qualities in the external world as objects both sources qualities the qualities in me seek their fulfillment in the qualities outside in the world of objects beings experiences etc and he just is an observer he is not aligning with those actions of the body mind intellect he is just a sakshi and then he is not attached to anything again what was said earlier don't disturb others same thing is repeating because it's important prakute priya guna sammuda sajjante guna karmasu tana krishna vidu mandan krishna vitna vicharaye prakrute guna sammuda people deluded by these qualities sattva rajotama gunas they get attached to the actions and those people a krishna vidaha of imperfect knowledge mandan dull slow in learning a krishna vid krishna vitna vicharaye the knower of the truth should not disturb them and now i told you there are three verses in gita which give the gist of uh, uh, karma yoga 38 47 of second chapter and 30 of third chapter that is the next verse mai sarvani karmani anyasya adhyatma chetasa nirmamo nirahankara sorry nirashi sorry sorry mai sarvani karmani sanyasya adhyatma chetasa nirashi nirmamo bhutva yudhyasva vigata jvaraha mai sarvani karmani sanyasya all our actions directed guided by the motivation of knowing the truth of serving him wanting to recognize him wanting to serve him all the time he is the factor that propels you to do the actions and thus renouncing all your actions in him adhyatma chetasa your mind intellect turn towards that self that god in you nirmamaha free from the sense of possession my my body my mind my intellect my house my wife my child nirahankara i am so and so i and mine these are the two devils that take away your peace nir mama nir ahankara bhutva yudhyasva but continue the battle of life how vigata jwara free from feverishness mama possessions 
all your possessions past and then nirashi hopes future remove past and future from your uh, bio data you were not there this is what i am this is what i want to be that is what the ego remove past and future there is no ego therefore when you work you won't have anxiety feverishness you work without feverishness in the present detach from the past and future work in the present without future feverishness this is a beautiful verse the gist of karma yoga mai sarvani karmani sanyasya adhyatma chetasa nirashe nirmoho bhutva yudhyasva vigata dwaraha free from fever okay enough we have done 9 minutes bonus for you god bless you thank you we'll meet on thursday most probably we'll complete that chapter and make a beginning of the fourth chapter on thursday so keep both the books okay om purnamada purnamadam purna purnam tatyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate om shanti 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 hari om sri guru bhyo nama hari om thank you good night